ask anyone who has used Zoho inventory for their order management needs and they'll tell you that Zoho inventory tracks the stock flow of all items at two different levels or modes. One is based on transactions, also known as accounting stock. In this mode, the stock level of an item increases when you record a vendor bill against a purchase in Zoho inventory and drops when you confirm or email an invoice from inside of Zoho inventory to a customer. The other mode is based on actual item movements also known as physical stock. In this mode, the stock level of an item increases when you receive goods into a warehouse or in other words when you record a purchase received document in Zoho inventory and the stock level drops whenever you generate a shipping label or record a manual shipment document in Zoho inventory. While there is a clear distinction between the two modes, Zoho inventory continues to track stock levels for both of these modes irrespective of the choice made by an user. The user's choice merely dictates which stock gets to appear on list views, transactions and certain reports. Also, depending on what you do first and how you operate, there are instances when the accounting stock of an item can be different from its physical stock level. So, it is perfectly normal for a business owner to be a little unsure of the right mode to follow. So in this video, we will try to demystify these two modes of stock tracking to help you make the choice. Let's begin with a typical product cycle. To buy products, you draft a purchase order within Zoho inventory and email it to a vendor. The vendor then packs and ships the goods to you and gives you an invoice for the items. The products reach you and you record a purchase receive to capture the items that have reached your warehouse or store. Now the purchase received document will increase the physical stock levels of the items while the accounting stock will remain unaffected. You then record the vendor invoice as a bill within Zoho inventory which increases the accounting stock levels to match the increase in physical stock. Similarly, when you sell a few items, you start the cycle by drafting a sales order which is then confirmed by emailing it to a customer. Then you convert the sales order into an invoice and email the invoice to the same customer. Emailing the invoice or marking an invoice as sent will decrease the accounting stock of the items that you are selling. Now you will go back to the order and pack the available goods. Following this, you either create a shipping label via an integrated carrier like UPS or if you have your own trucks, you record a manual shipment order. As soon as you capture a shipment within Zoho inventory, the physical stock of the shipped items will decrease. And when all the items on a sales order have been shipped, the decrease in the accounting stock of the items sold or invoiced will match the decrease in physical stock of the items. Now, if you are like, I invoice directly, I don't do orders or ship goods, then let's see how the stock levels are being tracked. Now, those of you who record standalone invoices that are not associated with sales orders and vendor bills that are not associated with purchase orders have nothing to worry about. The system will auto balance both accounting and physical stock levels in such cases by default. Now, 
which mode to follow? Well, it all boils down to your preference. Choosing your mode of stock tracking will decide whether it's the accounting stock or the physical stock that is displayed across item list views, orders and some reports like the inventory details report for instance. However, both the modes of stock are tracked by the system and are always visible to you. If you are an online seller who is more concerned about stock movements and shipping, then go with the physical mode of stock tracking. If you are someone who is more into accounting or has integrated either Zoho Books or QuickBooks with Zoho Inventory, then I would recommend going with the accounting stock to keep things consistent across the integrated apps. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or doubts, please email us at support at the rate zoho-inventory.com. Thank you.